All right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. So as this guy makes the walk here tonight, let's talk about the kicking technique. It is just outstanding. He doesn't telegraph anything. He gets his foot to the target, blindingly fast. Shades of Edson Barboza, the foot off the canvas to the target as quick as anyone you'll ever see. Guys don't even see it coming. His opponent's certainly weary of those light and fast kicks coming into the octagon tonight. This guy has extremely unusual kicking speed. His technique is outstanding, and there is no wind-up to his movement. Oh, is it good to see this guy making the walk? I'm just glad I don't have to fend off his chokes tonight. This is a decorated Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Mira, chico, yo got taken. Wa ga ta ge bo do. Wa wei dio. Dio ga ji de dai ji a. Wa ge chue dio ji de chui gun chou. Nin lo mu ba kua gui. Zhe ji na li zhe ti bei dio. Ji de chui gun chou. Wa ge zhe wu jiu zhua. Go wa go wei mu shi su xi. Ji de chui gun chou. Wa do. 登场甲吞落，我就看到前面从镜头前个镜头吹过就甲加落。如果我印象不好，是是，我真傻了。印象你先死，如果我讲的拢是事实，你吞这条狗，我敢唔敢？ Jiu-Jitsu practitioner, and a lot of guys in the UFC just not used to facing opponents on this level. He's probably thinking right now, how quickly can I get this fight to the ground and utilize my high-level submission skills? Scary, scary BJJ practitioner, finally where he belongs here in the octagon. This guy comes in with a wealth of grappling skills. He's great in a clinch, has solid takedowns, and he is very capable of finishing this fight with a submission after he gets it to the ground. And if he can close the distance, he can really take control of this matchup. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So a more than five-year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age with similar height and reach. All right, now for the official introductions, we set it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 254 pounds. Fighting out of Apria Samoa, here. This man is a grappler, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 206 pounds. Fighting at an Apia Samoa Iceman. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Mario Yamasaki. Oh, first one, you ready? You ready? Let's and go, we man. are underway. Almost hits him with that left hook. Caught him with a punch. That one hurt. Hard leg kick. Feints with the punch. Oh, power kick to the arms. Well, he eats a punch to the head there, Joe, and he would be wise to get his head off of that center line. It's almost as if he's moving straight into that punch. He's cut over his right eyebrow. Good shot. Ooh, that's a powerful body kick right there. Oh! Kick to the face! He's got hurt here. Look at this! Who saw that coming? <laughs> Two minutes have expired off the... Whoa! This could be out of here. The man has his chin been tested early. 
He's in half guard here. He moves to full guard here. He postures into place. Versus position. Excellent movement on the ground here. Constantly moving, constantly staying busy. Oh man, with that right leg kick. Attempts a big hook to the head, but misses. It's a kick, Joe. Oh, he lands another strike to the oh, that one hurt him. He is in big trouble here. He's wincing in pain. Blocks that kick to the body, Joe. Well what a wild exchange! Wow! He's hurt, he's down! That's it, he's out! Unbelievable! Out. Wow! What a knockout! Man! Beautiful accuracy on the right hand for the victory. Yeah, Joe, I'm not sure if that's the way he drew it up, but a huge result for him here tonight as he gets the win by way of knockout. And that's about as good a one-strike finish as we've seen here in the UFC in recent memory. I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming. So a big, big win for him here tonight. Let's take a look at it from another angle here. This is the one that causes the knockdown and the subsequent follow-up strikes for the knockout. Great angle here. I mean, just stiff. Well, hard to perform much better than he did tonight. A huge knockout under the lights. They'll be talking about that one for some time. The official decision is in. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Bauer Yamasaki is called to stop for this contest at four minutes, two seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by so there's the man of the moment, just the way he drew it up here tonight as he gets his hand raised and does so emphatically by way of the KO. Perhaps some bonus money is coming his way at the end of the night, I'm not sure. Still a few fights to go, but at the very least, you can be sure. His next fight will be a big one, and he will celebrate deep into the night with his team. I know, I know, I know that you like it like that. I'm great designer, check the name on the tag. White Fox fur on my jacket. Excuse me, that's a